So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing some leg exercises to help strengthen the legs. Now, what's important about working with the legs and one of the most important aspects of Tai Chi is to get stronger legs. Um, the reason for that is when you don't have stronger legs or when you don't have strong legs, then our upper body can't relax. And the whole idea for, the, for Tai Chi is to be able to relax in our upper body um, and be, that allows us to be a lot more mobile and also with the stronger legs we're better, we have better balance, uh, better stability, um, better foot working. So this is the 8th and 10th form of the animal form and it's called golden, chick, uh, golden chicken nesting eggs. So what we're going to start out with is we're just going to have our feet pointing it out 45 degrees to each other. And you're just going to leave a little space just in between your feet, uh, in between your heels. Okay? Now, the right golden chicken, we're going to bend. We're going to have our left hand on our right knee. Okay? And then our right hand is going to be in front of our elbows with the palms facing down. Okay? If you can, you want to go as low as you can. Okay. If you can rest your elbow on the left knee, then that would be great. If you can't, just start out with what you can by bending, bending your knees forward. Okay. Like that. Now, head is relaxed. And all we're going to do is, with our weight even distributed in the middle, we're going to bend our knees or sit down. And at the same time, we're going to move our hands like we're bouncing a basketball. Okay, so we're going to move from our elbows, kind of creating this bouncing ball basket, bouncing the basketball motion. Okay, so down, hands goes down, when our knees come up, or our body comes up, our hand comes up. Okay. So that's the right green chicken. From the side view, So one more important aspect I want you to look out for, and really watch out for, is our leg motion. Okay? So our knees need to really be staying in one place. Okay? So from the side, as you can tell when I'm bouncing up and down, my, knees, my kneecap isn't moving forward and backwards. It's basically staying in one place. It's going to be right about the level of the toes. Okay? So you don't want to rock back and forth like that. Okay. So knees, kneecap stays in one place. We're moving our butt up and down. Okay. So knee stays in one place. Move our butt down like you're sitting down in the chair, and then up. Okay. So that's golden chicken nesting eggs. Now for the left side, same thing. Heels and feet pointing out 45 degrees. Leave a little space in between the heels. Bend down, press up this time. Left, right hand is on the left knee. Left hand in front of the knee, up and down. Okay. So, as beginners, you can start out with the weight evenly distributed right in the center. But as your legs start getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and to give yourself a little bit more challenge, a little bit more exercise on one leg, all you do is the same thing. Heels out 45 degrees, feet out 45 degrees from the heels. This time we're going to bend down. This is the right golden chicken nesting eggs, hands in the front. Now this time, instead of our weight being in the middle, we're going to shift all our weight over to the right leg and do the same thing. Okay. So the left leg is basically just for support and balance. Okay. 
So same thing with our left golden chicken nesting eggs. If you can, then shift all your way over to the left side and do the same thing. Okay, so that's golden chicken nesting eggs. Really helps works out the legs. Uh, pick and choose, you know, do start out slow. You know, do about 27 times. Um, if you want to do more, you can do more. Okay. The more you practice, the stronger legs you're going to get. Um, and better, the better form, the more stability you're going to have in your form.